Earth International Conference is right here in Denver. And Fox 31's Dan DeRue spoke with a couple of flat Earth believers. It looks flat. It feels flat. For all intents and purposes, the world is flat. Was there ever any debate when you were in first grade and you were learning about the you know cosmology and the fact that the Earth is right? Was there anyone who disputed it ever in your whole life? Nobody. But now, well, conventional wisdom and science says the world is indeed round. Use your own eyes. Go out to the beach on a cloudy day. I mean, are the clouds curved? But not everybody is on board with the big blue marble belief. I don't believe that we are. I don't believe that there there is the evidence to support it from a truly scientific, uh, you know, method. Folks who believe in a flat and not round Earth are called flat Earthers. And today is day one of the Flat Earth International Conference. Conference is about just starting to question uh, things and, and not being afraid to, to basically ask questions. Over 800 Flat Earthers are expected to attend the two day conference and discuss topics ranging from Flat Earth clues to NASA and other space lies. I thought this was the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard when I first started. I said, oh my God, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. And then it was like, Wait a minute. That's the first time I've heard that. Flat earther Mad Mike Hughes from Las Vegas raised awareness by raising himself in his homemade rocket that he built and flew all to... To go to space to prove the shape of the planet. Mad Mike hopes to someday, perhaps, be the one to prove once and for all what many believe. I only want the truth. I have no agenda. That Mother Earth is indeed flat. I'm going to try to set the world speed record in a boat. And he'll need a lot of flat earth to do that. Dan DeRue, Fox 31. All right. Mm -hmm. It takes all kinds. Uh, thanks for watching. As we leave